Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for special probability distribution. A type of antibody can cure a certain disease with the probability where we have 0.85. If 600 patient, here we have the binomial distributed where we have 600 and 0.85 can cure the disease. Find the probability that we have 500 to 515. So in here, very obvious, we have to convert the situation to the normal distribution because more than 50. So we have 600 multiplied with the 0 0.85, where we have 510 for the mu. In order to find the variance, we have to multiply MPQ, where we have 510 multiplied with the 0 0.15, and we will have 76.5. So my preference would be return the situation in standard deviation square, where we have square root of 76.5 and then square. So where we have the variance. Next, refers to the Question where we have the probability x is greater or equals to 500 less than or equals to 515. First, what we have to do is to do the continuity correction. So in here, the continuity correction would be 499.5. And then we have 515.5. Next is to standardize. So probability that we have 499.5 minus 510 over the square root of 76.5. 515.5 minus 510 over the square root of 76.5. So simplify the situation and we have the z greater than negative 1.2 and less than 0 0.63. Kali refers to the diagram. Locate the Z. So shaded the region. Write the formula. So here we have to eliminate the A and also the B. So 1 minus the probability that Z is greater than 0 0.63 minus probability that Z greater than 1.2. Kylie refers to the table. For the 0 0.63, where we will have 1 minus 0 0.2643. For the 1.2, where we will have 0 0.1151. By referring to the calculator, after we simplify, so the probability that x is greater or equals to 500, less than or equals to 515, and the probability will be 0 0.6206. Next, Kali refers to B. The value of D is the probability that at least patient are cured is 0 0.9. So here, they said the D. So probability that X is greater or equal to D because of at least. And we have 0 0.9. Do remember, do the continuity correction. And then after that, standardize. So here, straightforward, we have the Z greater than. Then we have D minus the 0 0.5 minus 510 because of the mu over the square root of 66.5. Then we have 0 0.9. So simplify the situation. Here we have Z greater than, we have D minus 510.5 over the standard deviation. So it refers to the diagram. So the Z will be on the left, which is the negative. Then we have shaded the region. Very obvious, it is 0 0.9. So flip the situation or rewrite the formula, then it will become probability that Z greater than D minus 510.5 over the square root of 76.5. So it means that we flip the situation, then it becomes something like this. So we eliminate this part. Rewrite the situation, Z greater than D minus 510.5 over the square root of 76.5, where we have 0 0.1. So kindly refers to the table. So where is the 0 0.1? So very obvious, the 0 0.1 is located over here. But for better approximation, we have to refer to the
Table 4, table of percentage point of the normal distribution. Kindly find out the 0 0.1. So here we have the 0 0.1 and the value of Z where we have 1.2816. So here we have the probability that Z greater than 1.2816 where we have 0 0.1. Kindly compare the situation in order to find the D. So remember the Z is a negative. So Z is equal to negative 1.2816. So D will be equal to, we have the situation negative 1.2816 multiplied with the square root of 76.5. Then plus with the 510.5. So the D will be equal to 499.29. So if you round up the situation, then the D will be equal to 499 patients are cured.